Hello friends, my name is Yogendra Pal and in this video tutorial, I will demonstrate an another way to use pen tools in Microsoft PowerPoint. So the pen tool is generally here, but you can't see it. It's hidden inside ribbon menu and here is that tool. So when you will click on this tool start inking, you will see an another menu with lots of options or there is one more way to open this menu. Generally you can't see it but when you connect your digital pen with your computer then it will suddenly come here. So now what I am doing I am connecting digital pen to my laptop and you can see that pen menu here. So I will go to that pen menu. Now we will understand all these options. So the first one is pen. So when pen is selected you can actually use it to draw anything on your PowerPoint slides. But you can draw anything in between this point to this point. You can't draw beyond that. And if you want to erase something for that you can use eraser. So I am erasing this point and this point. See. So come back to the pen. Pen has only two options color or thickness. So you can adjust color by selecting any of these colors. So now I am using this color. You can select any other like this one. In the same way you can also change the thickness of your pen. So this is bolder than the previous one. This is this much of thickness. PowerPoint has also provided some built-in options for the pen color and thickness. These built-in options are available here. So you can choose either this one. So this is black and this is bolder one, bolder black. When you will open this window, you will see lots of built-in pens and you can use any one of them. See. Now second option is highlighter. So using highlighter I can highlight some portion of computer screen. So by default highlighter is yellow. But if you want you can change the color of highlighter the same way you change the color of pen. See. You can also change the thickness of highlighter. So for example this is the thinnest highlighter I am using and I can use 6 point thickness also. Otherwise, 4 default built in highlighters are available here. I can select any one of them to highlight what is written on computer screen or if you will open it, you will see more options and you can choose any one of them. Then it comes eraser tool. So by using eraser, actually there are 3 erasers. A stroke eraser, a small eraser and medium eraser. So a stroke eraser erases one stroke. See, when I will click on a single stroke, it will erase that complete stroke. But when I will choose a small eraser or medium eraser, it will erase like uh, we were erasing in MS Paint. See, only that much portion will be erased. So there are only two options, small or medium. So if I want to erase the big area then I will use medium eraser otherwise I will use a small eraser. So using a stroke eraser you can erase the complete stroke. I hope that you have understood eraser. Now it comes lasso select. So lasso select means you can select anything using this lasso. So you will draw a circle kind of thing and it will select everything inside that particular area. And everything will be selected after that you can either move it or you can delete it if you want or you can change its size see or delete it by pressing the delete key from your keyboard with this option I can select any one of that stroke see any one of the object and by selecting any object I can then change its size, I can rotate it or I can 
delete it. By using select object, you can also make this kind of rectangle and it will select all the objects that will come inside that rectangle. Now you can rotate the object, change their size and shape or delete them. This is how you will use pen tool in Microsoft PowerPoint. There are many ways by which you can use this pen tool. It's all up to you and your creativity. I hope now you can use pen tool with Microsoft PowerPoint. I will see you in my next video in which I will talk about a special tool that will allow you to directly annotate your desktop anywhere in the screen. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.